This is a plow plane that I built in my shop from some bird's eye maple I had laying around. Real pretty wood. These uh, plow planes are very expensive so I wanted to build one myself. The only thing that I purchased here was a piece of steel plating here and the actual um, iron here, the cutting iron. I guess I bought this little piece here too. But it's a a fairly complex machine to build. Um, took me a couple of weeks to kind of figure it out and I looked at a whole bunch of different models before I did this. But I like what I have and as you can see it cuts a nice groove in here. My iron here is a quarter inch thick and it rides against this long track of iron here and that helps to support it as it glides through. And you can get quite a depth out of this if you wanted to. Um, this would be the the maximum height for the depth. Technically I guess the little metal piece in here would but we could always move that up. And here it has an adjustable fence so if you loosen up these three screws you can move it away and you could cut in a little bit deeper if you wanted to. So probably would move in about an inch and a quarter well I should say maybe about another inch. So this is nice if you're going to take a piece like this and you wanted to make a drawer bottom and you would um, cut kind of the groove in here to accept that drawer bottom. So it would look something like, well this isn't quite a quarter inch is it? I'll use my scraper. So this would fit down in here and right in there. You can also do this on the top of the board on this edge. So you could put um, a groove in there for tongue and groove if you wanted to. So this is a nice piece. It kind of has the same um, same design as if you've seen my other video for the rabbit plane. It has the exact same tote handle and this is a Forstner bit that drills down in here to create this three quarter inch hard maple stock and that um, creates that mortise there. And then this is simply notched out here with a chisel and that goes all the way through down to here to accept that cutting iron. And then this has a real heavy or stout front handle that has a, a piece that goes down into here about an inch as well. So this is a very sturdy plane and it works really well. Um, I've used it in everything from pine, um, this is mahogany, to real hard red, um, red oak and it cuts real nice. I had to buy this iron and it just came flat. It was just a piece of high speed steel stock and I had to take my time and I sharpened it, put kind of this angle on here and that took a while. I used my grinding wheel first and I had to keep it cool and so it didn't lose its temper and also its ability to, to hold an edge. So I had a little glass of water sitting next to it so I dunk it in there and grind a little bit away. And then at the very end I just used my um, kind of homemade sharpening station where I have another video on that where it's a piece of granite that's really flat with different um, coarseness or grades of sandpaper. So that's it. Um, really nice piece to use for my shop.